Hi guys, good morning. It's 6.30 here. I'm in Peru. And as you can see, there are the snow mountains, the cold river stream. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> so I want to tell you something. This is me. I, <laughs> I want to tell you something. Yesterday we went up the mountain. As you can see, I'm not sure if that's... Ah, yeah, no. We went all the way up there and there was a little lake, a really cold lake. And yes, I went there for a swim. Twice, a small one, I dipped in. <laughs> it was really good. It's like you cannot breathe at first because it's so cold, but it brings life back to your body. It's like, yeah, le electrocuted. <laughs> and it's good, it's good for you. It's good for, for your body. Try that if you haven't done it. You're not, you're not going to die, don't worry. I want to show you something. I'm here in this beautiful place. It's um, in, it's called, I will tell you a little later. I want to tell you a story. So why did I go to Peru? To be honest, I didn't know, but I know now. So I went to Peru to Cusco and we went to different temples. The day I reached here was the 24th of, 24th of June. And 24th of June was the, um, was the day of the sun. So they had the sun festival, huge festival here, which they celebrate. So on that day, we went to an ancient site where there was a carving made in stone, a bird, a puma, and a snake. So they explained to me, because I'm here with some healers, um, so the bird stands for sharing, share what you have, your gifts, your knowledge, being in the here and now. Just share what you have with others. And that's what it makes worthwhile to be alive, right? So the second was a puma. And the puma is about being in the present, being here and now, and that's the protection. Have you ever heard when, the, when you see the totem puma, it's, they always say it's protection? That's because you have to be present. Why do you have to be present? And what's the difference? You can only share and use knowledge. And I'm going to come to the snake in a bit because the snake comes means knowledge, wisdom. But you can use all those things when you're in the here and now. If you're not in the here and now and parts of you are suffering and in pain and you're having, you're sick, you're not well, that's because parts of you, your vibrational body parts are still in the past about situation, about people, about things you did, about things you felt, about the people you met. Either you're still grieving, either you're still angry, either you're feeling still guilty about something. So, and that helps you, or the, actually it's actually not helping. Having memories of the past and not having peace with it is actually stopping you from being here in the present, stops you, you from being um, protected and being safe and healthy. And now this water here, you're going to see steam. It's really hot. We went there yesterday. It was awesome. So then we went to the, after that we went to the moon temple and I loved it. I was just running around barefoot, going up the hill and going to all the ancient sites where they used to bury the healers. See, this water is really hot. It comes from the inside of the earth. It's really hot. It was awesome. And after that, we went to the water temple. The water temple is the area where they eat guinea pigs. <laughs> Why do they eat guinea pigs? They say a guinea pig is made of love. And it stops producing cancer cells and people use, wow. and people use it so they don't get cancer because they say a guinea pig has healing abilities. So I'm saying now everything is frequency. I'm saying you don't have to eat a guinea pig to stop cancer. But what you can do is you can get in a um, vibrational alignment with a guinea pig because cancer in the end of the day is just self-hatred. Not accepting yourself, hating yourself, um, not loving yourself. Or feeling that you were not loved. 
But you know, no one can love you if you don't love yourself. And that's all about vibration. And yes, if in the past your family members haven't loved you, then not because you're a bad person. That's because they're still sleeping. That's what they say. People some still sleeping. They're not aware. They're not in... It's like a child. You cannot expect a child to know things. You teach them, right? So we have still different parts of in us when we are born who are old souls or young souls and we cannot expect everyone to be an old knowledgeable soul so now coming to the point of when we went to the temple of the sun which there were giant huge rocks rock formation made by the giant people in the old Atlantean time and those giant people they disappeared because they didn't work in alignment with nature and the universal law so this place the temple of the sun in Cusco is connected to the brain they call it gray matter which you can also see in movies by now and here when they talk about the gray matter where we have the ability to create um, and being gods and activate our psychic abilities our DNA our spine, which is connected to the snake, which is the Gundalini awakening, which is helping us to use the knowledge, the wisdom, be here in the now and the present. And how do we do that? We forgive. And forgiveness is not about just, oh, I forgive my mom. Oh, I forgive my dad. Please forgive me. I'm full of sin. I'm full of guilt. No, it's more than that. It's even forgiving the situation in the past, the emotions you felt like guilt, shame, the anger, forgiving body parts and vibrational energies within your body. It's much more than that. It's forgiving the past situation. It's so powerful because forgiveness can be so powerful because it means, no, it's not about you have done wrong. It's about surrendering to life. Surrendering means you're letting it happen. It is gone and you're doing you're doing you're starting new it's like a rebirth you're redoing something you're starting all over again and you're doing it better better that time in a sense that you're using the knowledge and the wisdom in the here and now and that gives you the protection to be safe to be within your body and to be healthy and strong many greetings from this place which is called Aosangat View okay now you can't see it it's called Aosangat View <laughs> Greetings, bye!